Hello there. Welcome to another episode of Dan and Don's Fans Q&A, where you send us the questions, and if we want, we'll give you an answer. Otherwise, we just throw it away. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Toxic Masculinity with my co-host, Don the Predator Fry, and yours truly, Dan the Beast Ever here. We are here to entertain, enlighten, offend, defend anyone and everyone. So put on your man pants and grab a cup of coffee or a beverage of your liking and get ready to be infused with a little toxic masculinity. Go ahead, hit it with hit it with the question here, because so, I like the fact that, that, that it's so many, it sounds like a very complex question here. So the, fir- the first here. part is, Don, did your judo background at all help you in your UFC career since you were primarily known for your striking? Of course it did. Of course it did. I uh, just never had the opportunity to use it. <laughs> Yeah, I can say your, your judo background really worked out quite well for you, that, that yeah. Takiyama match. Yeah. <laughs> judo, 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 yeah. judo. I don't think, I think that was, uh, yeah. Odd, yeah. Oddly, oddly enough, that's the next part of the question. Oh. <laughs> also, do you ever get tired of talking about your Takiyama bout or have you accepted it is a big part of your fighting career and have no issue speaking about it? No, I don't get tired of it because, you know, uh, Takiyama, it, it was a great fight, and I just, I, you know, I'm I'm proud and honored to have been part of it, you know, and, and that uh, and Takiyama, he he, he deserves uh, more respect than he gets um, for his part in that fight, you know, he made that fight. Anybody else would have quit a long time, you know, in the first couple of minutes, you know, or probably the first the first minute of it. A lot of people would have bailed, but he he stuck it out, you know, and he he fuck he he gave as good as he got. Let me tell you that. I'll jump in Absolutely. there, yeah, you know, because from watching that ma- that match many many times, I mean, it, it's a very it's, it's a very uh, uh, match that. It will, it, it will be talked about for many, many years to come because it was, it was something that had never, ever been done. Both men, I mean, they gave, they received, and it was, you know, to, to me, as I say, it was a testament of, uh, of fortitude. I mean, just the way that both guys were just striking each other. And, and I would say that, you know, who really won the people that watch that event or right. that will continue to see that event because they will witness something that will probably never, ever be seen again. The fact that the, you had two men out there that, that came there and they came, they came from war and the way that they smacked each other to the point that they have that, that collar tie on each other. And they're literally the way that they're just punching each other in the face. And I, I, I say it like this, it's kind of like a game of chicken at that point. I mean, as they're punching each other in the face, it's kind of like going, one guy's like going, I'm punching your face, you son of a bitch. Are you going to stop? And the other guy's like going, no, you son of a bitch. I'm going to keep punching you in the face until you stop. I mean, but, but, but again, that's how, that's how I kind of come up with it. But it's kind of going, whew. Again, the, the, who really won? It was a people that watched it live that night. I mean, you'll, you'll still see it. And you could you could still get caught up in the moment if you watch that. I think on a, a nice screen TV and stuff like that. But uh, what a historic moment that uh, that is that will be living infamy. So, yeah, I mean, there I, you go, there, Mister Fry. I'm bragging. I'm yeah, bragging about you there. Thanks, bro. thanks, Daddy. <laughs> so, yeah, I, 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 I'll stop everything I'm doing and watch that. You know, and. And I was part of it, you know. <laughs> Shit. And it's it's entertaining to me. I I, I remember because I did not watch the match that night. It was it wasn't until like a, a couple weeks later that I finally got a chance to see the match. Because I had all kinds of people tell me you got to see the match, got to see the match. I finally when I finally did a chance to see it. Yeah, and I, I remember calling the Don up at that point and, and, and uh, catching up with him. And I'm going, Jesus, cry me there, Don. What was going through your mind other than Takiyama's fist at the time? That's not the way you're supposed to be fighting out there, but it's kind of going, but you did, so <laughs> can't, can't, can't stop you now at that point in time. You, you, you did it, and, and, and like I said, what an incredible moment in time that that, uh, that, that was. 
Very, yeah. very incredible. Yeah. So the last part of this question from Bushido Baker, uh, he claims that, lastly, that you were recorded one time at a live UFC event years ago where you said Dan Henderson is an asshole. How come? He says, thanks, and he loves your dog, Quinn. <laughs> well, thank you, Quinn. Quinn appreciates Quinn, that. Uh, Quinn, Quinn's, already, Quinn's already getting fan mail already. Yeah, right? Quinn's already getting fan. <laughs> Her first one. <laughs> um, a, a fighter's not, not a good fighter unless he's an asshole, you know? But you got to be an asshole in the ring, not like Brock Lesnar who takes it outside the ring, you know? I mean, show me a show me a a, ch- a fighter who's not an asshole in the ring, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll show you a, a a bad a loser fighter, you know. So was Dan Henderson an asshole in the ring or out of the ring or no? Both? He was an asshole inside the ring, you know. I okay. mean, you've got it. You've got to be nasty. You've so you got- you weren't insulting him. No. No, I was complimenting him. <laughs> so we just wanted to clear that, clarify that for Bushido. No, you've you've got to be an asshole inside the ring. Uh, I mean, if you're not, you're 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 too nice. And if you're a nice guy, you're not gonna win the fight. You have to know how to turn on that uh, that uh, animal instinct. Uh, yeah, that yes. personality, right? Right. So the next question's for both of you. It's a little bit off topic from all this stuff we've been talking about, but Jack Soon would like to know what both of your guys' favorite song is. It, it, it's, it's, say the guy's name again, Jack's, Jackson or Jack Soon? Jack Soon. It's kind of spelled silly, but. Jack what, Soon. Okay. J-A-C-K-S-S-S-O-O-N-N. But more importantly, what, what's your guys' what's your guys' favorite song? Do you have a favorite song there, Doug? Uh, "Fight of the Bumblebee" um, oh, always I brings see. always brings me to tears. Fight of okay, uh, wow. Or, you I, mean, know, uh, I think it all depends on what, on what what you're doing at the time. I mean, if you're doing if you're working out, you want you want higher octane type of music, more of a rock and roll type of thing there. Uh, later in the evening, if you relax or something like this, you want the dip types of uh, music. Um, I don't know, right. I, I, I've always it just simply enjoyed it. Depends that. on what I'm size old... woman you have with you, right? What's that? Depends on what size woman you have with you. <laughs> Whoop, there she is. Whoop, there she is. <laughs> yeah. No, I think a lot of it. I, I, I'm I'm just a rock and roll. I, I, I like rock uh, rock and roll for for most part. And uh, but then there's sometimes there's certain country western music that uh, I enjoy as well. Come here, come here. Hey, you, if you you got you, you got the star Queenie. There. Yeah, I got the star of the show right here. But she's you know, a little bit. Well, we get, we should we should let people know that. Uh, and admire that that mm-hmm. T-shirt that you have right there with those two uh, pistachio been there right now. You gotta you gotta play the role of Banner White there now and show show off that uh, that T-shirt there, Mister Pride. Yeah, those are brand new, hot off the old, uh, off the old screen. So there you go. If uh, you know if people are are interested in that those kind of things, that'd be a, where do if, if people have questions for us. Where do we? Uh, where do they send their, their questions into? Is there an email address? Is there? A, is there? Is that what uh, Brandon or Tony's got to got to bring up on there? If people have questions, they can, they can ask questions directly on our YouTube channel, and that's that's where we get all our Q and A questions. Okay, but it's good to let, let the folks know that are here now that they do have questions. If they go through the the, the YouTube channel, there that uh, there is a place that uh, people can ask questions. You can ask. People can ask questions on um, both of your Instagrams. We got uh, Dan the B Severin and Don the Predator Fry. That's their Instagrams, and we also have um, hey, a, a toxic come masculinity here. Dan and Don's come toxic here. masculinity uh, Instagram as well. If you go to any one come of those on. three platforms and DM us, you can also ask a question there. Well, we'll start, we'll on. check it out. Okay. Come All right. Well, let me. Uh, that, that's a uh, great. On. Thank you for guys for bringing that information forward so that uh, the public knows come how to. On. Get in contact there with us. 
Thank you for watching another episode of Dan and Don's Fans Q&A. You better like, subscribe, and share, or I'm going to come to your house.